we're here to provide decision support. You know, if I give you a better thermometer, you get better judgments because you've got a better thermometer. If I give you a better spirometer, etc. I regard this stuff as giving you better technology. So what does the government do about this? So it's actually been quite interesting. It's something you might want to think about, which is that the government has shifted from thinking of technology as being a net burden of cost on the health service to becoming the thing that might actually solve the economic problem. I think me and all the other doctors, I can speak for them, found it really enlightening. It's a very new field which most of us are not very familiar with. And at least now we know what's available on the market to help us decide patient care and put in as part of the algorithm to manage and uh, treat our patients. I find the liver work especially is very exciting and in ASEAN region there's a lot of liver disease which may be a bit different from the spectrum seen on other countries and it will be a good place to start new research and see how different it is here and how it can be planned into the patient management and patient care. Yeah, I'd like to say that thanks to Michael Brady that despite he's 73 years old and a mathematician and not a doctor, he's able to push to work further in the uh, push further the, the frontiers of medicine that could contribute so much. And as far as the liver scan is concerned, I concur with Dr. Ashokan that it's uh, this uh, technology is uh, advantages because it doesn't use radiation, trust CT scan, it's non-invasive. It gives you so much more information.